So what the word the Lord gave me as I came, I kept searching my spirit till I got here. And the Lord gave me Second Kings 11. Second Kings 11 concerning this house. And thank God, uh, Pastor Bimbo said, it's conveyed, we are praying. It's, we are just coming here to pray. So, And then it so happened that I am a prophetic intercessor. Uh, I'm a prophetic intercessor. So that's my feel with ease. Uh -huh. So we pray prophetically. So now the Lord gave me uh, Second Kings 11 verse from verse 4. I will skip some verses. And it now says, I'm reading the, the common English version. Uh, it says that Josh, son of Hazar, had hidden the Lord, had hidden the Lord's temple six years. Then the seventh year, Jehodai the priest sent for the commanders of the king's play, king's special bodyguard and the commanders of the palace guard they met him at the temple and he asked them to make a promise in the name of the lord then he brought out Joash. now uh, this ministry is seven Honestly, I was not going to go and on the ceremonial, I mean the religious route that we say, oh, seven, perfection, you know, and all of that. I wasn't going to go on any of that, but really I didn't know what until the Lord now said this. That here was Joash, he was hidden till the seventh year. And so God is telling you, global house of destiny. So I'm, because I've journeyed with them from the backside of the desert, when we're destiny partner network so we have moved i say we because we are one in the body of christ so it's we so you know what the lord is saying that you have been like josh that has been in hiding because ataliah was after him ataliah is a principality that goes for the seed of the king for royal seed so god is saying that the the ataliahs of the state of the nation of the dispensation will no longer keep you in hiding and so he's saying that the sixth year of bringing you forth bringing you out announcing you is now he said that then the seventh year jehodiah the priest so by priesthood you are coming out of hiding and i'm happy that there, there there is you know there are people that carry atmosphere without them saying anything their presence changes things and uh, apostle otnell is one of such persons he's one of such persons and there is a dimension of priesthood that he will introduce because it is by the priesthood of Joadiah that Joash was crowned after being in hiding for six years on the seventh year. So this is the seventh year for you. And the Lord has brought a dimension of priesthood that will crown you. This is what the Lord is saying. And he says that Jordiah the priest sent for commanders of the king's special bodyguard. Our bodyguards are angelic forces. So the, the host of heaven, the Lord is releasing. The, there's, so what I see is, we call him the Lord of hosts. That means the commander of the armed forces of heaven. So by priesthood, global house of destiny, by priesthood, you will begin to command some special guards, supernatural, financial, ministerial, special guards. Because Ataliah must end. Her rule, her reign must end. The Ataliahs you know and you know not of. They are ending in this seventh year in the name of jesus christ and he asked them to make a promise he asked them to make a promise in the name of the lord 
then he brought out Joash. And so the Lord is bringing you out as a ministry. And there are people that will make a promise to God. And then the, when in your manifestation, now is your season of manifestation. As you manifest, the promise to stand by you, they will also come into that manifestation experientially in the name of Jesus. And then in verse 12, it now said, Then Je Jehodiah brought Joash outside where he placed the crown on his head and gave him a copy of instruction for ruling the nation. Olive oil was poured on his head to show that he was now king while the crowd the crowd clapped and shouted long live the king this is your word this is your message the lord is bringing you outside it is not going to be a a secret crowning it's not going to be a secret ordination it's not going to be a secret empowerment. It's going to be a public one. It's going to be a public one. He said that he placed the crown. So the Lord says to you, he's placing the crown in this seventh year. He's placing the crown. He's placing the crown. He's placing the crown. And there will be seven mighty individuals, families that this crown will speak in their lives. Starting from the set man. And he placed the crown on his head and gave him a copy of instruction. You will be given copies of instructions. What you have worked with, you will, not, you will not be able to operate by in this new season, this new dispensation. A new copy of instructions will be given to you. Either in the course of this anniversary or in dreams and visions, a copy of instructions will be given. For ruling the nation you if you rule territorially it's not the same as ruling nation so the copy of instruction is for ruling the nation and it says olive oil was poured on his head to show that he was now king so there must be something that must come upon you to show that you are king and we decree that thing that must come upon you as individual as a ministry to show that you are king let it come in the name of jesus let it come in the name of jesus and when the oil was poured on his head to show that he was king you cannot be a king without oil being poured on you Elegada gojekete parata, and I see an ancient oil, ancient oil, ancient oil that has been kept. I've been waiting for such a time as this, and I see and I hear the Lord say, "Go fetch that oil, go fetch that oil." Just like Samuel, they went, they said, "Go fetch me, David," and they went and brought him. Alekato shekepe reka namana teke lagada bada hada. There's a special oil, oh, ancient oil. You are going to come into operations, ancient mysterious operations, ancient mysteries, ancient mysteries, ancient scrolls, ancient scrolls. Ayekapa, arades, kapalo, brede, aladanda, la hazaraba, mareka toshemene, alaboze, kete, kelea, apredos, kereka, tonde, praka, arene, soho, labaya, eramena, a. And 
and he said that while when the oil was poured on his head to show that he was now king the crowd clapped and shouted long live the king long live the king long live the king and prophetically let's begin to clap and begin to shout long live the king 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 Lord and we pray let that ancient oil that ancient oil that gives access to ancient scrolls ancient mysteries that you are causing them to access in this seven year Lord let it rest upon the house let it rest upon the house let it rest upon the work let it rest upon the people in the mighty name of Jesus and it says in that second Kings 2 I think verse 13 now to 1 verse chapter 13 verse 1 he said and at the age of 7 Joash began to reign as king and he reigned for about 40 40 years right or 44 years let me check 40 years yes 40 so you have entered god is going to be counting in 40s for you in the seventh year Joash became king and he reigned for 40 years you are you are coming into a 40 year reign moses was locked up 40 years and uh, 40 days 40 nights in the glory realm he came out transformed jesus was in the wilderness he fasted 40 days 40 night he came out in the power of the holy ghost and he was announced you know so much about 40 i don't need to start unveiling the 40s the speaking of 40 but the lord is saying this seventh year you are going into a 40 year reign in the name of jesus and every atalaya every atalaya of your work of your calling of the ministry we send for the word from this place let her be apprehended let the spirit the throne the priesthood that speaks let them be apprehended that is being backed by atalaya's operation let them be apprehended in the mighty name of jesus and let them be slayed we bring an end a closure 
to the reign of every Atalaya in the name of Jesus. And so while I was I wanted to go there was somebody that I was feeling their pain you know their right leg and be it ministry or an individual whoever it is receive the ease of God be healed in the name of Jesus Lades Calabar so I now saw like a crystal ball and it was placed in my hand and it was like rotating you know it's actually like it was tied it was connected to my hand you know the crystal ball is heavy the crystal ball does not flood but this one was flooding it was floating and and as it was turning it was radiating you know like this light that you see multiple colors and so i'm saying what i'm seeing i may not have a deep understanding uh -huh. maybe my elder brother apostle Odnell, will take you know me i am i'm still a kindergarten you know but they have gone to the mountain and they have checked the size of the mother they have weighed mountains on scales so he will be able to decode this but i decree whatever this speaking means can you and your wife join hand and let me transfer it no oh, come i'm giving it to you shekete la braga satata manda le braga shekete le grade sataba bredos ke tebe la gadenda la vrodoze vedenama Ambrodosh kete la vrade skete kaparate ne mena o parada anda la bo shelenda la bo severianta e ya kata papa pratoseke o komon kelerere so barade o senda la o severa arodeme skando leve ka protete te tua amande leke skorote le he ha 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 aramana na eskanamana eragadalaba Enanda la koshere salaba e yana mande lele selebo shalaba daba I hand over to you that which was placed in my hand that will be but I just heard that now I didn't hear that one before it will be back by operations of the seven thunder and the seven trumpets. You will say one thing and they will hear seven different things. You will call one, seven will run to respond. Shelepan tenemenda. Verene maragado je verianta e bando le kembe legando vreja gade na kwankerada Bring your hands together cup together Masheka talabayanda regado je badadanda ares komanda le branda jende legada I read the law, Father, I release, I release into their spirit, into their soul, into their life, into this house, into this ministry. I release Marakote Shelebanda Labradosa. That light, that world, La Resco Manatanda, that statement, my low predasata, that expression, my recando Veda Zabadanda. Let Let the nations hear you. Amen. Let the nations hear you. Amen. Let the nations hear you. Amen. 
because you are anointed according to the scripture we read for the nations in the name of Jesus My assignment is done.